Hello my friends and welcome back to another fossil hunting episode. Today we are at this beautiful location and hopefully we'll find some fossils around here. So friends this is too cool. I have to show you what I found. Take a good look at this over here. Recognize this? I'm going to zoom it a little bit. Yeah, it's a large urchin. <laughs> very, very large. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. And it's nice too. Nice state of preservation. Whoa. Whoa. I have to clean this at home. It's going to be great. Whoa. Large urchin. Woohoo! More or less one minute or two and already find a large urchin. Woohoo! Cool. Okay my friends, I came back to this rock that you already saw in my other videos and I think this rock has a lot of potential and if you notice I think there must be a belemite over here. I could be wrong but it looks like a belemite. It's broken, so I don't know if I'm going to salvage anything, but I will try. So let's see. So I'm guessing I'm not going to be successful in taking whatever there is there is in thing in here. I already removed some shells from these holes over here, but they are too sandy, and as soon as I touch them, they they broke. So. I'm not, I'm not very hopeful in removing whatever it is that is in here. See, take a good look. If I do this, it starts to crack. So, it's going to be very difficult to take it out. Okay, just one more. So I remove all of this supposed belemite, but it's not the belemite. I believe it's some sort of pin, uh, pin. Um, how do we say it? Mollusk. Uh, as you can see, there is. It's quite crumbling. So I don't know if I'm going to take. Where is the other bit? a bit fell over here so it's kind of like that but it's pretty cracked over there so I'm not sure if this is worth taking with me or not but it's pretty cool so I was moving this around here and I just noticed on this side there is a huge shell inside of this rock I don't know if I'm going to try to take that out of there but it's pretty large so I will do some investigation more investigation on this rock around here because I believe there is more surprises in here take a good look there is some sort of turritella and this one it's pretty cool because it's harder than the rock that is around so it's neat let's see if I can see where that goes okay let's continue hey guys just found something interesting this looks like whew, this looks like glass but it's not it's quartz very white quartz and there is more over there take a look this one is shining it's because of the sun but not really my thing but it's cool anyway okay friends i just spent something i don't know what it is but be nothing well I guess it's a shell mm. 
not resembles a shell but it is and this one over here strange but okay okay this is pretty lame today but I will try friends take a good look at this rock over here <laughs> First glance, nothing unusual, right? Again, there is a squash gastropod in here. I believe that's it. There's what's this? Some sort of turritella. There's I don't know a shell or another gastropod friend. Okay. And I don't know if there is more and it's not spring again. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can take this Ah forgot to put out. I don't know if no start to wave some wind. Okay, I'm going to need my tools and my my hands. Okay, what's what's in here? This one is a gastropod, I guess. This one is a shell over there. And we'll see what is going to come out of here. about the wind. Here is another one. Got all the spirals. Okay. There's... Sorry guys, I hope the, the wind will, will let you hear what I'm saying. There is another one in there. This one, this one is very cool, it was laying like that, pretty uncommon. Okay, this one also came with me. There is a piece of a shell over here. Looks like a claw or something, <laughs> pretty cool. There is something in here also, I don't know what it is, just a piece of, I don't know, well, there's totally nothing, okay, there is, there is a brown here, I can see, like a brown, <laughs> okay, there's three so far, and I think there is a brown here, go, oh, take a good look. My collection of gastropods is increasing dramatically. Okay, what about this over here? This is the shell. Okay, oh! Friends, this is pretty awesome sight, but I don't know. There is too windy for me, and I don't know if you guys are hearing me right, which is a shame. And I seem to found some gastropods, 
shells, the usual stuff, and this place keeps on giving. There is more over here. One more. Kind of a like tortilla. This I don't know. But everywhere you look around here, there seems to be pieces of shells and so on. But this layer over here, it's all very muddy like. Uh, every time you found the fossil and you touch them, it will crumble. So I will see if the uh, of that ridge over there I can find some more stuff. Whoa! Take a good look at this my friends. This shell around here. Oh it's pretty solid. Well, very solid. Oh, I can seem to take this one out. Okay. Now you can see. It has all the grooves in there. Nice one. Bit, bit damaged, but cool. Okay, now I have to climb all this way up there. It's not going to be easy. Welcome back my friends, this is the end result of today's hunt and as you can see we've got plenty of good stuff so let's begin with this small, small no, it's a large urchin, large ech echinoid you, you can call it like that and as you can see it's quite remarkable because um, on the contrary of the others that I have the star pattern looks like it extends on to the bottom of the fossil and we have these little holes where I presume the spines were and I believe this this um, this echinoid that I have here, this urchin is from Epatagus species. I'm not sure if I'm right, but the guys from Fossil Farm sure knows what what species this is. So I didn't clean it very well yet because I was afraid to to damage the fossil. I have another one that I found on my previous videos, more like more or less like that, but not with this kind of quality as you can see it's very good so I found also the gastropods this one was the best one that I found very clean very sharp definition as you can see this one goes to my collection only misses a little tip over here but the rest it's okay I found this gastropod, well, this has a funny story because if you remember this was incarcerated in, in, the, in the rock like that but when I took it uh, I didn't notice this uh, we, you have to be real real close to see but there is something in here I don't know if it is some sort of gastropod, retailer I don't know. I, I only know it's curly and he, it has some ridges, ridges over there. So I don't know what this is over here also. But I sure am going to try to find out. I don't know if this is could be some sort of I don't know ammonite. No, it's not an ammonite. Okay. Now, the shells that you already saw in the in the movie. Okay, they are very sharp, very good definition. And this are quite remarkable. So, I found another thing that for me is a bit strange. I found this rock over here I'm not sure what is this 
if this is one coil of a large Turritella or if it is something that is curly in here or if it's nothing I don't know but this one is a mystery it looks like it travels to here and disappear well this one is a mystery well we got some other gastropods these ones are not very good I didn't put everything everyone in here because uh, they are still outside uh, waiting to dry a little bit so I got this gastropod that I didn't quite extract from the rock yet I'm planning to do a special uh, episode of fossil cleaning because I have a lot of these fossils around here that I promised you guys that I will show you what I will do with them and still I didn't have time to do anything but I will see if I can do a special one just in cleaning fossils so the other ones are Turritellas or Turritella species and gastropods as you can see well but the main stars of today's episode were these little fellows over here you may wondering what happened to the supposed Bellamite uh, well I believe that wasn't uh, a, bel a Bellamite or a pin fossil or whatever it is because as soon as I bring it home it was it started to crumble and it was impossible to to put it back together uh, because as soon as the, the 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 material dries that's that's it no way uh, so uh, maybe next time I will find a belamite not this time yet so guys don't forget to like the video and if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe so see you soon bye.